Hi there, are you into blades? Um, let's uh, discuss or feature one uh, sword here that is actually inspired by uh, an East Asian uh, sword, the katana and uh, through the process of forging and building the blade it actually came out more like a Thai sword or a sword from Thailand. When we talk of blade culture we must consider the following points. You must consider number one uh, that that sword could be native or indigenous meaning a sword that is produced at source by the owners of the blade culture. For example in the Philippines, in southern Luzon, in Bicol or in the Bicol region um, the Minas Bad is a native uh, blade or sword. Although there's belief that the Minas Bad actually came from uh, uh, Masbate, uh, the blade is so widespread in the Bicol area. So much that we now consider the entire Bicol region as the source of the Minas Bad or the blade culture owner of the Minas Bad. Therefore, a real native or indigenous Minas Bad must come from Bicol and must be built by a Bicolano blacksmith. Two, a sword or blade could be traditional or meaning to say made at source, indigenous and native. However, it got involved in various historical upheavals so much that said historical events had an impact on the sword itself. The sword could have modifications. Uh, for example, in the Minas Bad, there is now a blade called uh, Minas Bad with Gardashon or Minas Bad with Sagang or the Sinagangan. The hand guard, the D guard, or the uh, cross guard, you know, uh, were modifications brought about by historical events, particularly uh, Spanish uh, regime, Spanish influence, and also uh, uh, Moro raids. Number three, a sword could also be modern. So it could be uh, a modern sword because uh, the way it was built was brought about by uh, modernity, brought about by uh, access to information, by travel, the use of machines, etc. For instance, uh, a non Bicolano could forge a Minas Bad. However, it will not be a what? It will not be a native or indigenous or traditional Minas Bad because said blade is not made by a Bicolano at source. Uh, even if the uh, blade uh, could very well be a, you know, a good version of the, or rendition of the Minas Bad, it would only be a modern uh, uh, rendition. It would only be a, a kind of a, a, a copy of the Minas Bad. How was this possible? Because of modernity, because of travel, because of uh, because of information exchange, etc. etc. Number four, a blade could be postmodern, meaning to say it is not uh, native or indigenous, it is not traditional, it is not modern, but uh, postmodern in the sense that it is strictly created by you know the architect of the blade the, the the blacksmith or the architect or the builder out of their what out of their creative you know uh, creative uh, imagination um, the blade uh, is postmodern for instance because said person said builder or blacksmith uh, is the only one okay was able to uh, I'm up with the design of the sword, knife, or blade. Uh, in as much as that person or that builder or blacksmith could very well be apply for a patent.
on that particular uh, design. The sword that we have here is actually a Bicol made sword or blade. However, this sword is inspired by an East Asian blade or a Japanese blade that is called the katana. However, this particular piece from the Minas Bad shop actually looks more like a daab or a Thai sword. Now here is the sword that we are going to feature for this episode. This was made in December 2020 and uh, was supposed to be inspired by the katana but readily you will observe the Southeast Asian feature of this sword more especially the Philippine or Southern Luzon feature of this blade even though um, the inspiration is East Asian the blade has the elements of a bicol blade just looking at this cupboard you will know that this is indeed built by a Bicolano blacksmith or craftsman. Uh, the scabbard is made of wood and if you are an expert in Japanese swords you would readily know that this is not made in Japanese fashion. You see the motif here, the, the so-called engraving, wood engraving and uh, so-called uh, bakurong or scabbard rings or locks we have here five or four one two three four scabbard locks next is the handle the ferrule lock is also here uh, very much reminiscent of the Bicol blades that we featured earlier here in this channel the barat as you know a Japanese sword doesn't look like that and we have here a ferrule which also tells the the date this item was built uh, although the handle is trying to look like a katana handle um, it is made the way uh, some bicol blades are made the tongue actually you know protrudes up to here and uh, it is made of various um, materials we have here uh, albino carabao horn we have here uh, uh, Marabical, we have here Barayong, we have here some kind of a plastic, and we have here a uh, Carabao horn. And uh, the handguard is made of bronze, and uh, there is a kind of a marking here G A marking. Alright, so we can observe the sword we unsheathed it already and let's look at the blade itself um, this was forged okay the Bicolano way the Bicolano way um, not the Japanese way where you uh, get metal ore and then uh, uh, you know, put it in an oven and uh, metal would uh, squeeze out and then uh, the blacksmith would now, uh, you know, try to pummel it and then uh, fold it into thousand, you know, of uh, folds. So here this is just uh, a leaf spring but uh, carbon steel and with the so-called Lucas or uh, Hamon but the Hamon is not 
visible unless you actually have the skill to make it come out. The hamon is, however, not made the way the Japanese would do it. Okay. We'll see the uh, labor or engraving here, which is uh, very, very much uh, a bicol blade culture element. Be called blade culture element. We have already talked about the handle. Now, curiously, the item actually looks more like a Thai sword or the dab or dab sword from Thailand. Well, the dab sword already has a reputation of looking like a Japanese sword. You know, it, as it is, it already have it already has reputation of looking like a Japanese sword. But perhaps because of the Southeast Asian lineage of uh, the Minas Bad shop blacksmiths, somehow the uh, sword that uh, is uh, supposed to be inspired by the katana here actually looks more like a dab sword or a dab sword from Thailand which makes the sword really unique it makes the sword really different from the usual swords that we have here in our gallery although the blade uh, the blade uh, profile actually is uh, indeed inspired by the katana but the dab sword also has somewhat similar profile to this one here's our katana inspired blade that actually came out more like a daab sword from thailand so this is a modern build as we said um, we have here a blacksmith from bicol uh, trying to build a katana the Bikulano way and somehow he came up with a sword that looks more like a Thai sword which is a Daab sword so what can you say about this blade this is actually very sharp we're not gonna do uh, cut testing as of now as or as of yet we'll do that later what can you say about this particular item here? Oh. This is a nice thing for kendo and also for uh, the sword fighting style of the Thai. Um, Jason here for the Hagbayon channel. Remember to watch uh, my other uh, videos here. Of related topic don't forget to uh, subscribe react comment share remember the pen is mightier with a sword